So to me, I say raise hell. Make people uncomfortable. Because here's the truth. Here's the truth. Far too long, we have lived with the discomfort of being a second-class citizen. And frankly, I'm tired of it. And every single Muslim in this country should be tired of it. <laughs> CARE was founded after 9-11 because they recognized that some people did something and that all of us were starting to lose access to our civil liberties. So you can't just say that today someone is looking at me strange, that I am going to try to make myself look pleasant. You have to say, this person is looking at me strange. I am not comfortable with it. I am going to go talk to them and ask them why. Because that is a right you have. So we are coming off a tragic, tragic nightmare that has happened to Muslims in New Zealand. Many of us know that this is not a one-off incident. Many of us were not shocked or surprised. Many of us were kind of holding our breath for a really long time thinking, when will something like this happen? Because many of us have experienced threats in our mosques, in our schools, even for our individual leaders. Many of us have witnessed bombings of, of mosques. Many of us have seen mosques set on fire. Many people a few years ago watched in horror as gunmen showed up to Irving, um, Texas, at a mosque, threatening Muslims. So we all, we all kind of knew that this was happening. But the reason I think that many of us knew that this was going to get worse is that we finally have a leader, a world leader, in the White House who publicly says Islam hates us, who fuels hate against Muslims, who think it is, it is okay. It is okay to speak about a faith and a whole community in a way that is dehumanizing, vilifying, and doesn't understand, or at least makes us want to think that he doesn't understand the consequences that his words might have. Some people, like me, know that he understands the consequences. He knows that there are people that he can influence to threaten our lives, to diminish our presence. But what we know and what Islam teaches us and what I always say is that love trumps hate. 